Hi guys, um, welcome to my second sale, um, which is a seasonal auto learning experience. In this sale, I will talk about a repeat question in Kobo Toolbox, but I will uh, focus on Power BI and how to create a bi-directional relationship. Um, this video is a continuation of the sale one where I talk and I explain how to create a relationship using um, Excel Power Pivot. Um, my learning problem um, is that um, I, in the previous um, video, I explained that I was doing a survey and I put uh, the questionnaire um, in Kobo Toolbox um, for doing um, mobile data collection. But in my questionnaire, there was uh, a repeat group um, question. And when I downloaded the questionnaire in Excel, it has created two sheets or two tables for me. And with that, I could not really um, create, um, I could not bring the information from um, sheet one to sheet two or, or vice versa from sheet two to sheet one because um, they were not related. So I use uh, a single one-to-many relationship via Excel Power Pivot to be able to bring some information from sheet one to sheet two. Um, but the problem is that um, using Excel Power Pivot, you are limited or it's not straightforward if you want to do a both directional um, relationship, meaning you can at the same time bring information from sheet two to sheet one or sheet one to sheet two at the same time. So one of my solutions for this, for this um, situation or to ease, ease um, my job is to bring the Excel to Power BI and create a bi-directional filtering and one-to-many um, relationship. So let me bring um, my Power BI and open my Excel. So I open my Excel and I look for my data set. Um, all right, as you can see, and, um, I have two, uh, the two tables from my Excel data set. So I have to check both of them. And usually you will, I would recommend you to do some data transformation if, or click data transform from data. If you want to do some data cleaning and data shaping, but this is not the purpose of this video, and we will load it um, directly. Okay, you can see that uh, my two table were uh, imported in Power BI, but I can change the name. I just uh, have the first table and the roster, which is basically the uh, repeat group um, um, table. Um, so I will change the name, right click name and I call this um, HHH and this one which is basically my member I will right click on it and rename this as member all right so now to create uh, my relationship between the two um, I will go in the model here this is uh, for the, if I want to see the data for example, if I want to see the data set, I can, and I can see the HHH data set. If I click here, I can see the member data set, but I don't want this part here is for the, if I want to do some reporting and resolution, but now I want to create a relationship. I click the model here, and automatically I can see my table. So I will create a um, relationship between my index and my parent index. Um, if you want more information on what these stand for, check out my uh, sale one. Um, so I will just bring, um, drag, drag and drop um, the index to my parent index, like we did in, in my first sale. And you can see it has created a one to many relationship, one um, member household head is related to several member. But I want, and, and the how here is just telling me I can, filter this table using this and um, this um, this HH table, but I want to do um, both directions. So I will basically go in manage relationship. And you can see that uh, Power BI indicated to me that I already created um, a relationship. So I will edit it, edit. 
and the continuity as you know is many to one and the cross filter direction for now is single but i want to um, change it to b direction so i will click both okay close and you can see the, what happened now i have the arrow in both directions so that means i can bring information here to here or here to here so let's do some example on why it is practical practical to have a um, um, b-directional um, um, relationship um, for example i can go in my uh, member uh, table and i want to bring um, the name of the household name, like we did in uh, cell one so i will basically create a new column in this table and then i will call this uh, variable as h name household head name equal and again the same function related and related and you can see that it says it already saying to me that it will return a written value from another table so that it will return some value from my um, uh, HHH table. So I will look for the variable that I need, and then I need the name. I close the parenthesis and enter. And you will see here that it will bring me the name of the household head um, from each member. But I can also need to do some. Um, I want, for example, I want to know if I go in the HH table, I want to know how many children under five this household has. Because in the, in the, in the member table, I have the age of each of my members. But I want to know, for example, in each household, how many children under five. So I will basically use, um, I will also create a, a new column in this table. But here I will use DAX functions and I will use a combination of um, um, calculated um, function and uh, count row function. So let me do the same for you. Um, I will type it and I will explain it. So um, I will call this variable um, u5, which means number two and number five. One, and I will say um, um, calculated, calculate. And it's a calculate, evaluate an expression in the context of modified filter. I will explain that. And what I want to know is the count on um, the count row. Count row. Of which table I want. I want the table of, um, I want to type the table of a um, member. Mm -hmm. And close parenthesis. And I will put the filter. And what filter I want to know? It's on the member again. Member. And if I will, I want to know is um, the age. And you will see that it will create for me um, the number of um, so what it's basically telling me is that I did um, a count of the row in my member table and I wanted to I did a mistake I wanted to um, filter this by the member uh, of who have an age less than five. Did a mistake. If something happened. And we'll see. Now. So I know, for example, in my first um, index, my first household, I have two children under two. Let's go and let's double check to see if it is true. Remember, and if you go in um, the, end, uh, the parent index here, so find index here, you can see this is the parent index 1111, and you have the age, and you have these three, right? and you have two 
child on the path. Let me explain again a little bit more on the, the formula, the Dax formula. So basically what this formula is telling me, let me put it in a better way for you, is that I count the number of row in member table and I filter using the calculate function then the members in the members table the um, variable age on the file. So that means I filter the number of row with uh, um, the uh, variable age on the file and it returns it to me. So you can see that there is a, uh, it's blank here, it's just because there, it's, it's, there is no children on the file. So you can also, um, you, can, you, can, you can use the if, um, if then as in Excel to calculate and put zero. I can do that, I will just go here and again create a new column. And I say this is U file one. One equal if you if um, the table H H H H and U five is equal to black. Put it as zero, otherwise put H H and close the parentheses. Exactly like the if then um, in Excel. And I click on and you see that it has put a zero for me. Um, guys, don't be afraid about that. Um, all that functions are you know, available on the net. You can just go on, on .microsoft on US and, and you, will, you will find. You just, for example, if you want to type, um, if you want to know about um, calculate, you just go and type calculate um, function, calculate, calculate function, and click on it, and it will return the information for you. Calculate, and you will have tutorial on that who will explain you everything on, on that and we will give you the syntax and the example. So I hope that you have enjoyed um, um, this video and you can see the real difference using Power BI and, and Excel Power BI Vote when you have uh, the data set um, receiving in, in Kobo and where you have used uh, the repeated video. Um, I think that is that is uh, what I have for you this weekend. So see you next weekend for our continuing um, sale number three, where I will do some data cleaning and data transformation for you. Have a wonderful weekend.